Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to duplicate primitive elements in Fred. I use this script as a debugging script for myself since I am moving the source every single time in my code iteration. This way I can make sure the sources move as I want. To start off, you need to open Fred. I have Fred already opened here. You can see we're going to start with this source right here. And since I'm only interested in where the geometry is, I'm not going to bother to duplicate the optical sources, which is the actual rays. I'm just going to duplicate the source itself, this plane. Usually, in order to duplicate this, you would either do the right click here, create an element pyramid, and create a plane. And then that would bring up this window, and then you would add all your things into this. So basically, what my script does is it adds a new plane for you, fills in all of these parameters for you, and sets the position and orientation for you, and does this while the script is running. So for example, in my script up here, I import the source data, I rotate and shift the source right here, and then I update the frame file. Now, normally this would this is how your script would end. So when you run the script, it would it would import the data, shift it somewhere, and then update the file. And then do some ray tracing, for example, and then rerun the script again with the new source position. When I was starting to write my script, I had a lot of trouble trying to find out where this source actually shifted into if the, the only reliable way to do that would be to add a breakpoint somewhere here after it updated, run the script once, it would stop at the breakpoint, go back to my fed file, find where the current source is, and then copy, paste the source back, which would automatically create a new source at the same position. And then we go back, run the script again. Now the script I ran once. And now I would have this source would be at a new position. You see the source came from here. Repeat that process and so on and so forth. Now this gets tedious when you start to create a lot of sources. For example, I created a group pattern of 25 sources. In order to do this, first we need to start with our the thing that we want to track. So we're going to the source surface. So in our code, in our script, here's what I set to duplicate the source for debugging. So these are all the variables I'm going to use. Since it is an entity, we need an entity variable. And this is just some temporary variables for the name because we want to change the name so that we can know which, which part of the rate is. This is the IDs that we need. This is the counters for the parameters in the entity and the operations in the entity, which I'll show you here. So basically, the parameters are these. So this this is the counter that goes through all of them and duplicates them. And in the same sense, the operation count, count counts all of these and duplicates them. So uh, we start by finding the source ID of our source surface that we just shifted and want to duplicate. And then we get the entity of it. So this basically copies the name, um, the type of entity it is, which in our case is the element plane, elementary plane element, so, and then it copies it into the source tab. Now we don't want it all to be, because in Fred you can create the same name entity, but we don't want it to be the same name, so we, we, we set up a temporary name. Here is the source, and IMJ is just the, which position of the array it is in my big loop, so I just append it to the name. And then you change the name using an object origin added by the DOM to the new name. And now you have another. And now what you do is you add a plane. Since we are, since we know beforehand that this surface is a plane, I could just use the element add plane. You could change this to suppose you were using a tube, then you would use a tube. If you were using a lens, this would be a lens, etc. And you add plane. And on this, we count the parameters in the parameters in the plane. After counting the number of it, we integrate, we iterate through every single one and we copy them over. So we set the new one with the old one. It's that simple. Now, you would think that the um, for the operation, it would be the same thing. So you basically count the operations, you iterate through them, but there's some a, a few things that operations are really odd. First of all, each, when you create a new plane, it automatically sets the first operation to global. So since all my sources are in the global core anyway, I start from the second one, which is one, not from the first one, which is zero, because if I start from zero, it actually duplicate it, because it's an add operation instead of a set operation. 
And that's the first thing that you have. The second thing that you have to make sure is that once I get it, I check here to see if it's if it is is set to sell. So I'm I ran into this problem because in my in my definitions right here, you can see that right here I have a reference coordinate set to self. This is where I said the zero that we want to set because it's global. And if you create a new one, it would start with zero already. So if you depend one, it would be two globals and it would mess up how the orientation, the coordinate, the linear transform works. Now, this one is, is set to self, but actually when the Fred script reads into this, it actually reads it in as the ID of the source ID. So basically it reads it, it says, oh, it's the ID of the previous source, not the new one. And that would create a problem is that if you run this code, you would find, you would find out that all duplicated sources actually reference to the old one in front of it, which is wrong, which would create problems. So basically this is just a quick test to see, oh, if it's self, then set the new one also to self, which basically means to set the parent of the operation to the new the new entity itself, the new plane itself. And then this is just a simple fix. After that, um, we just add the operations and this also goes through all the operations. So basically this is just to check if you have any global coordinate system to rel relative to self. If you don't have anything set to self, you can actually skip this line. And then after that, you need to update again because we create a new entity. That's the only way that would update the friend file. Basically that's it. Because you can interact with this UI and see it. Another thing you know, this is slow because it creates a new entity every single time. So it is not the fastest thing. I suggest if you're done debugging, just to delete or comment out all this code. Now let's see it in action. So I just click start and I quickly switch back and you can see it is slowly adding all the sources. And it should be done now. And now I should get a five by five grid, like I said, and each of them would be like this. So this would be minus two degrees to two degrees, and this would be two, the second one to the second. And because I have my axis messed up, so it looks different. Basically, this tells me which one is it, and if they're all in the correct position, I click into each one. Each one looks looks correct. You can see which angle it has, where it is, compared to my source. So that's basically this is how to. Um, create a script that duplicates, um, in my case, element planes, but it could be easily changed to something else. Thanks so much and good luck with your Fred scripting.